935 your time. Let's talk about your health this morning from a tragic accident on the sunny beaches of California to conquering Oregon's mightiest peak. It's an incredible journey courtesy of a man who stunned doctors after they told him he'd never walk again. To see 24 year old Vishal Sukla today, you'd never know that just a year ago, a body surfing accident left him unable to even lift a finger. I instantly just shattered my C5 vertebrae. Um, just like a light switch, I broke my neck and uh, got paralyzed from the neck down. And right off the bat, I knew I was paralyzed. Doctors initially told Shukla he'd never walk again. A devastating prognosis for a young man who had spent his life surfing, hiking, mountain climbing. I was literally just seeing my own body deteriorate, just laying down for two weeks at a time. Um, you know, my fingernails stopped growing, my muscles were atrophying. But then he found some strength and some inspiration. I was just sitting in my wheelchair at the time, looking at the window at Mount Olympus, and I looked down on my phone at Mount Hood, and it just, it just basically clicked, right? Like, it, it would be awesome if at some point in my life I can recover to the point where I can climb Mount Hood. As most goals go, it began with baby steps. First, the twitch of a finger, then standing up and shuffling forward. 10 steps led to 60 steps, which led to 200 steps. And just one month after his accident, Shukla walked a full mile. Pashala just sat around and not put in the effort early on. It's very unlikely to be able to move the way he's moving now. Just 14 months after being told he may never walk again, Shukla stood at the top of Oregon's Mount Hood. I did want to give up at least a dozen times, but I knew for a fact like a month from now when I'm comfortable at home in my own house, knowing I did not climb the summit of that mountain when it was only like a mile away, I would just be full of regret. Goosebumps there at the end, right? I mean, it's a look, scaling Mount Hood wasn't just a personal goal for Shukla, right? It was also a, a philanthropic one as well. He was able to raise more than $1,600 for NeuroWorks. That's a nonprofit rehab facility there in Utah. Incredible.